Emergency crews have rushed to an asylum boat reportedly in distress in heavy seas less than 24 hours after four people died when their vessel capsized. Tony Abbott calls it a national emergency and blames Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. Distressed and exhausted, survivors arrive on Christmas Island, men, women and children. Two men and two women died when the boat capsized under naval escort, not in distress, but too big to board. Four metre seas, so extremely difficult weather to conduct operations in. This is a national emergency. It's got to be addressed now. The political pressure rises with the toll, and Tony Abbott blames Kevin Rudd. Be man enough to admit that you got it wrong. You caused this problem. How, Mr Abbott, would you stop the boats? The Prime Minister knows he's at a crossroads and is working on a global, regional and local solution. We have a responsibility to adjust and change our policies rather than pretend to the Australian people that you can fix it like that. Tony Abbott wants Parliament back to debate and legislate a way to stop the boats. I'm more than happy uh, to put partisanship aside uh, and support the Prime Minister making the changes that are necessary to stop the boats. But it's his way or no way. This is a wretchedly difficult area and it's been poisoned by politics. The government of the day should be given the power it thinks it needs to stop people dying at sea. The government knows whatever it does has to be tough. A processing centre in PNG could be an option and Kevin Rudd's hinted at re-examining our involvement with the UN Refugee Convention along with how we assess and define a genuine refugee. Lane Kelcutt, Nine News.